Joining us now is Ron Canada, who was the very first host of State Circle uh, back in 1982, in January of 1982. Ron, how many years did you do the show? I did, uh, I think, two seasons. I, I, as memory serves, I think uh, uh, the first and the second seasons, um, I had uh, worked with Everett on a precursor show, uh, which was uh, called a, a State House uh, Forum, which we did live from Annapolis, from the 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 uh, um, the Capitol building in the basement in a conference room, and then uh, I don't remember quite how, but between the, the uh, second season of uh, State House Forum uh, and January of '81, it morphed into State Circle, and uh, uh, so uh, that's that's how that went. Tell me a little bit about uh, since you were back there at the beginning and the whole what you understood sort of the concept to be, because it was a, 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 the public affairs shows I know had been around, but this was something really focused on one particular matter. Tell me about that. Well, um, uh, as I, they, we wanted to cover the Capitol, it was kind of a, I guess, a, a magazine format in which we, we had a couple of correspondents who worked uh, during the week before I came in as the, uh, um, anchor, host, whatever, uh, they would uh, cover particular issues uh, down in, uh, in Annapolis um, and uh, uh, put together television news type packages and um, uh, which were assembled by the uh, producer, uh, Hillary uh, uh, Mazur Stition, a longtime friend of mine and, and a real pioneer in the uh, news in Baltimore, in the Baltimore area. Um, uh, Hillary was, would put together uh, basically the show. And um, then I would come in on Fridays and uh, look at the pieces and uh, tweak the copy uh, that uh, I would read of my introductions to the shows uh, to kind of fit, uh, fit my style um, and, uh, and what I knew uh, from doing television news for six years. And um, and then we'd go on. We went on the air. So, do you have any particular stories? Uh, again, this is a long time ago, but I think all of us in in a long career have things that kind of stick out and go. How did we manage to pull through that? Anything in your time with State Circle that comes to mind? Well, <laughs> there have been so many hundreds of hours of television and movies in the last four decades. Um, I, I, uh, there, I know there were no spectacular disasters that had to be overcome. Uh, I uh, know that uh, 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 the executive producer Everett Marshburn and, and Hillary didn't like my particular choice in ties. I didn't care, uh, but we, no, we never had any kind of uh, uh, big problems on the show and we all got along well. And, um, you know, I would come in on the one day a week and um, uh, kind of um, uh, put a kind of final polish on it and, and, and we would go. Um, I, I, I can't tell you if they were two scores of years between then and now, and God knows how much footage of television and, and, and films uh, have dimmed though that, that those particular uh, recollections. Since you know well in, in this business, um, hitting a 40 year mark, hitting a 30 year mark uh, for a show is pretty, pretty spectacular. Um, any thoughts as, as State Circle marks 40 years? Well, I think the point of it was, uh, especially now people have so much skepticism of government and uh, so much mistrust. And so it seems to me, unfortunately, less understanding of government than, than um, I remember from those days. It seems to me that maybe civics were taught a little more or a lot more of us were closer to our civics class. And I don't know that uh, how a bill becomes a law and all that, th those things that have, people of a certain age had to, of my age and 72, had to learn are part of our education now. Um, and I think it's more important than ever with the threat to um, our way of governing ourselves, democracy itself, for people to get to understand 
their process without the uh, need to fill a 24 hour news hole with breaking news, which turns news into uh, infotainment and puts those a show that doesn't have those kind of pressures that that kind of um, looks at government, which is closer to the people, the government in, in Annapolis is, it seems to me more important than perhaps it was even, uh, when the show began. Um, because uh, unless we understand the way we govern ourselves and those people we choose uh, to take the responsibilities of government for us, um, if we don't understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, then we can lose those things very, very easily as the events of uh, this past January show. So um, I think it's really great that the show continued and I'm glad to have contributed and my successor, my old friend, the late Joe Krebs, uh, who used to have the desk right behind me at Channel 11 at BAL when he, when he first came to Baltimore. Uh, so he followed me uh, in that sense. Um, but I, I, I'm so glad that it still exists. And uh, in my mind, for the reasons I said, more important than ever. So let's try to catch folks up with what's happened in the time following that. You obviously have moved uh, away from the area. If you can kind of synopsize where your career, career has gone post your time with State, State Circle and MPT. Well, at that point, um, I was in my uh, uh, last uh, couple of years in the Baltimore, Washington area where I began my acting career. I segued from news uh, at uh, Channel 11 in Baltimore and Channel 7 in Washington, D.C. I segued into um, the field that I've been in for the last 40 years, uh, uh, entertainment and um, uh, acting, and I've been fortunate to act in, uh, according to IMDb, uh, International Movie Database, about uh, 50 or 60 film titles, and uh, with the television, about 200 titles or so in all in the ensuing years. Um, and September 6th was my 50th year in television. So um, I've spent my entire adult life uh, in, as part of that medium. And um, and the uh, the movie industry. Um, I uh, moved back to New York for three years, and uh, after uh, State Circle, um, um, and then went on to live 25 years in Los Angeles and do um, a long list of movies uh, that people can easily, if they. Well, if go they ahead, Nate. Go, you give us a few. Give us a few. Well. Uh, in television, uh, I guess I was fortunate enough to, to sit next to Martin Sheen in the White House Situation Room for two years as uh, uh, the Deputy Secretary of State um, on West Wing for uh, two seasons of that esteemed program. Uh, I, uh, Boston Legal, I appeared in many uh, uh, episodes uh, as, as judge. I did six different programs uh, which were created by the late, great Stephen Bochco, who I, I uh, owe so much to and, um, and miss. Um, uh, I'm kind of a, a fixture in the Star Trek universe, uh, having done the, uh, having put in guest uh, shots on um, all three of the uh, modern Star Wars programs. Um, uh, movies uh, like uh, Wedding Crasher and uh, Wedding Crashers and uh, Adventures in Babysitting, which is one of America's unknown, at least known cultural icons because it goes on and on and it's now reaching its third generation, I guess, of audiences, um, which was made in 1987 and uh, it just keeps on ticking. Um, uh, uh, Great artistic achievement, um, Lone Star by John Sayles, Lone Star, um, uh, something I'm very proud of. Uh, um, the Human Stain, I've been fortunate to be in a great many uh, um, 
highly regarded projects and to work with some of the best people, a lot of the best people um, who've ever done this. And uh, last year I was fortunate enough to, oh, rather in 2000 and what was before the pandemic, 2018, 19, to spend nine months on Broadway with Brian Cranston, who people know from Breaking Bad, uh, nine months doing the stage version of uh, Patty Chayefsky's uh, great film about media and television network. So I was able to do network uh, for nine months on Broadway. Uh, and uh, that was sort of, you know, if you're an actor, you, you, you really haven't quote unquote made it until you've been on Broadway. And it was my fortune to be there with him and uh, Brian and Tony Goldwyn and uh, Tatiana uh, uh, from uh, uh, Orphan Black, um, uh, Tatiana Maslany, uh, tremendous uh, performers. And um, there's nothing quite like the Broadway experience, uh, even though I've had been in Hollywood for 25 years, it was really sort of a, a capstone to uh, what has been a very fortunate and very rewarding career. Uh, once I left news, as I tell, tell, <laughs> tell people, I, I, I straightened out my life and uh, went from news to, uh, to the movies. And I see an Emmy over your shoulder. Oh yeah, that one, that one's, uh, uh, oh, you noticed that, did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's from my time in Washington, D.C. Uh, that was fortunate to win that uh, at uh, Channel uh, 7, um, uh, w, which is now WJLA, uh, which some people in Baltimore, between Baltimore and Washington, get all of the channels of, from both cities. So uh, I was there, fortunate to be there from 74 to 77, and uh, I, I won an Emmy for Outstanding Reporting and, and Writing uh, during my uh, time in, in that city. And that and was the end of news for me and I moved on. Well, you have a, a physical thing to show for all that time, not, not just the resume, but you have that, yeah. that lovely statue. Yeah, well, it gets me a membership in the Television Academy automatically, so that was, that's nice. Well, there you go. <laughs> and and what do you, what, are you doing something now in particular? Um, no, I just finished doing um, a uh, backers uh, reading um, for a, a, a new play uh, with, uh, I was fortunate to work with uh, uh, Latanya Richardson Jackson, uh, Mrs. Samuel L. Jackson, uh, who was a wonderful actress in, in her own right, um, and uh, Corey Hawkins, who people may know from the recent movie uh, In the Heights and from uh, Straight out of Compton, we were working on a, on a, a reading of a wonderful new play for backers and producers type type. So I just finished that last week, and uh, now I'm living the actor's life, and that is, uh, you know, uh, looking for the next job and auditioning for the next opportunity. Fortunately, now at this point, I can be more choosy um, uh, and uh, decide you know, what I want to do artistically. And, um, you know, the part of the exciting thing about doing what I've done for the last 40, 35, 40 years is that I never know what's next. I don't know, you know, I'm unemployed as of today and two weeks from now, I could be halfway around the world doing uh, a movie that I'm unaware of at this moment, so. Well, with that, that's not so unusual with the news business, not knowing what's next either. So it, there's a great deal of consistency in that. Yes, it wasn't as big a transition as people uh, would believe or would like to believe. It wasn't that large a transition at all. Any message for folks, Maryland Public Television uh, viewers? I, 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 I thank them. I enjoyed the opportunity to serve them. Um, I want to express my appreciation for Everett Marshburn, who hired me and was um, my employer for four years. Everett, who was so, as you know, so critical to the creation of State Circle. And, um, and again, I'd like Hillary uh, 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 Mazur Stishin, who um, is a really important um, uh, and I think underappreciated figure in news. She was the first, people don't know, but she was the first female news camerawoman on the streets of Baltimore. 
um, and in uh, this is 1972, 73, 74. Um, now it's not unusual to see women in any uh, role in society as it should be, but Hillary was a pioneer. She was out there with the boys uh, covering fires and, and, and uh, politics and uh, prison breaks and shootings and all of that other stuff. And um, uh, women have their opportunities and women's contributions have grown so much since then. But, um, you know, she did a, a lot of fantastic things. Uh, um, she was on the uh, assignment desk, I think, at uh, uh, WMAR, if I remember my uh, 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 channel designations correctly. But, um, yeah, uh, I just wanted to, to um, express my appreciation for her and to maybe point to women who have done so much to maybe maybe people ought to look back at what she did in the 70s when there was no other woman on the streets carrying a great, very much larger camera than today and being a one woman crew on news stories. Um, so that's, I just had to say that. That's, I think she's well, well said, and I'm sure Hillary will appreciate it. Oh, Ron Canada, thank you for joining us. And um, we'll look forward to what's around the bend. Okay, thank you. Sue. Thank you.